WW me, the YouTube Crisis Smackdown. Tonight we are going to decide the best type of content on YouTube. Let's go. Meet your contestants, representing every corner of the platform that is YouTube. Round one. For round one, we're kicking off with some high energy. It is high energy versus ASMR. A man who keeps talking constantly in the hopes that he doesn't lose your attention. This is, you know, some relaxed sounds on the microphone. Go! Let's go. First game, high energy already on ASMR's tail, but ASMR is actually just kind of punching them back. It's not stopping high energy from going from those kicks and lob lobbing ASMR into the air. Oh, they do seem to be taking a bit of a lead now, though. And I have to be aware of the stage hazard here. Neither of them seem to be paying attention to the potato. Unfortunately, it's going to hit high energy. ASMR somehow dodged that one. Another stage has it here. ASMR has an advantage because they happen to be in the air. I don't know if they were trying to dodge that. Where did that bear come from? <laughs> no. They're calling in Midna to get some assistance on their side. Relaxing Midna, Twilight Princess sounds in your ear. Help you sleep at night. It seems to be working as they're cranking up some more damage on high energy, but they need to go in for the punch. Or they're going to be in trouble here. Well, high energy just doesn't know where to go. Except they were going for the win that entire time, my god. ASMR did not stand a chance. It did look like High Energy was quite confused, they didn't really know what they were doing. But ASMR perhaps taking it a bit too chill for its own good. Two titans of the fandom community. K-pop fans versus Minecraft stands. Wait, Minecraft stands now, hang on! They didn't finish their training! <laughs> Hang on! How did that slip by? Oh fuck, he's supposed to be... Alright, uh, there appears to be a bit of trouble in the, the... ...tournament process here. Minecraft stands may be at a disadvantage. Uh-oh, uh, I swear this doesn't normally happen and I apologize for this. Stop the count. Oh no. I mean, it doesn't seem to be stopping them now in fairness. They're off to a very strong start This is not affecting them whatsoever. They have a very early lead in the K-pop fans Although they do have a persona behind them now Jesus, they're going hard despite the circumstances This may not have any bearing on the match Minecraft stands know exactly Who to target and who to quote retweet in this matchup K-pop fans Trying to retaliate with some dance and gifts, but the timing is just wrong. It's not appropriate right now, and they seem to be struggling. They're trying to land some hits off, but they're very slippery. They've got the fire bar. Who are they attacking? Up smash into the K-pop fans. That's going to do it. My god, they have a strong start. Already one stock down for the K-pop fans. Minecraft stands establishing dominance over the algorithm. Doesn't matter if you're not interested in this content on Twitter, it will appear in your timeline. Oh, but K-pop fans not to be outdone! Actually getting a very early stock smash there! I'm so amazed that actually killed, they've been able to even the playing field! They are making a dramatic comeback here! On the second stock. Minecraft stands in a spot of bother here, they're playing it very dangerously on the wing. K-pop fans. Trying to go for the Warp Star in. Oh! That's some heavy recoil. K-pop fans. I think people are going to be upset no matter what the setup for that matchup was. <laughs> you guys think that is bad? I found one of the Miis was actually had like... Well, one of the Amiibo had performance enhancing drugs in their system. The pinnacle of YouTube content in this tournament. We are only trying to represent the very best that the platform has to offer. Which is why this next matchup is reaction channels versus the mukbangers. Can the reaction channels react in time? Or will they be swallowed whole? This is what YouTube has to offer. Let's see what's best. Reactions trying to get the up airs here. Mukbangers not to be outdone. 
surprisingly high mobility right now on their end. Both sides really seem to be struggling. This could be a long fight. I think the problem is, Reactions has to wait for the Mukbangers to strike first. And... Who knows what the fuck the Mukbangers are doing. There's a Smash Ball in play, but like, does anyone want it? I think Reaction is waiting for them to go first. The Mukbangers are like trying to size up if they can actually eat it. I don't... I, not just yet, they're gonna save it for later, apparently. The stage has changed. That Smash Ball is just sitting there. <laughs> no one wants it. <laughs> oh, that's sad, it just disappeared. <laughs> oh, disaster. Reactions couldn't take the initiative. They had to wait for someone else to do it first, and it's gonna cost them. Mangers is gonna knock them off the edge of the stage here. And they're at a very high percent here. Maybe reactions can learn what McBangers did to them and knock them off. They've seen it now. They can make it happen. And there you go. The content makes itself. Do either of these challengers know how to fight properly? I'm not sure. It's hard to tell at this point. Items to spawn. There is a bomb here. They're gonna have to be careful. Oh, disasters. The McBangers took more than they could chew. Reactions wins by doing absolutely nothing of their own merit and the McBangers have killed themselves You know mass media has adopted to YouTube uh, News reporting has made it into our online world. And it's more mainstream now. It's not so much of an underground thing But can the entire broadcast might of news corporations as a whole withstand the fury That is a political fury he may be too powerful, he may be too woke to what the news does not want you to really know. He has alternative facts. Go! Political furry, furry, not backing down, going for the immediate swipes. Attacking with facts and logic. The news is having a bit of trouble. The news, the news is gonna have to be careful just not to throw itself off the edge of the cliff. Oh, but disaster as the political furry seems to have just chucked himself off the edge. What happened? Oh, goodness me. His logic and reason has worked against him. There's some glaring flaw in the evidence he has presented. He is too much for himself to handle. The news doesn't even have to do much here. But the occasional slingshot seems to be enough damage. This is a high stock lead so far. Oh, they got the smashing though. They're not done yet. The news seems to be struggling to land too many blows. The, the political furry has the dragoon. Oh, I don't believe this. Oh, that was so fast. Oh, the mainstream media. The entire organization of the news, it's all been crushed. Some reporters that have 40 years in the business. They can't hold a candle to this guy who made a YouTube channel. Tech review channels, of course, a mainstay on YouTube. All technology that is produced must be reviewed. But can they beat technology itself? Because the technology has a platform of its own now. And it's called VTubers. Let's go. Oh, that's an early blow. Eye for an eye, though. The tech reviews do not want to be outdone here. VTubers struggling to get their foot in there. They are just keeping them at a distance here. VTubers really struggling to get close. They gotta learn these projectiles. Slap of the wings there. Able to dish out some damage. Tech reviews have got a lightsaber. Oh my god! Oh, they are out for blood! VTubers just trying to narrow the stock gap. They really need to get the smash off here. Or they're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Trying not to fall into the sea of clouds. Colossal up smash is gonna do it. Tech reviews have been taken out. VTubers may be able to mount a defense here. Although they're on a very high percent. They need some luck here. They need to try take back this game. Tech reviews getting exceptional use out of the technology provided to them. You know, for the sakes of the review. What? I don't believe this. As the stage changed! <laughs> Both the VTubers and the tech reviewers were not able to adapt to the change in time! 
And by a sheer stroke of luck, as they both plummeted off the edge at the exact same time, VTubers are going to take the match. I don't know if that's deserved. I didn't feel like the tech reviewers may have been robbed of this one. The very dramatic tournament. This next battle represents perhaps a blunder in the history of YouTube. Uh, formerly two allies in the field of YouTube content. Uh, we have the grand platform that is YouTube Kids. Child-friendly YouTube. Versus Not Safe for Work Elsa. For some reason this was a thing. I don't know why. <laughs> This is a battle of children's content on this platform. Do not search Spider-Man and Elsa on YouTube. It gets really fucked up really quickly. We can assume the Luma is Spider-Man in this case. It is a two-on-two -two match. It just happens to have worked out this way. Not safe for work, Elsa's gonna have to be careful here. She's really struggling to get a footing on the stage. Some content violations are starting to come down on her. YouTube kids are having none of this. Their interest has simply gone elsewhere. They take the early stock. Both sides seem to kind of be ignoring the smash ball, though. They really should be going for it. Not safe for work. Elsa happens to bumble into it. Um. But what did that accomplish? I'm going to be honest. That was terrible. Oh, what was the point of that? Oh, and that gun to the face will do it. She amazingly did not take that much damage. All three pieces of the Dragoon are currently in play, by the way. If either fighter realizes this here, the game could be over. Not safe for work, Elsa has two of the pieces. One of them has flown off the stage. YouTube kids are gonna have to be very careful there. Elsa has two of the pieces again. Not safe for work, Elsa hasn't realized the final piece of the Dragoon. The key to victory is there. She's going for it. Can she land it? Yeah. YouTube kids is dead. <laughs> And not safe for, for work, Elsa <laughs> has slain them. We won, but at what cost? <laughs> A reoccurring challenger. DMCA, who made it to the final of the last WWE, is back to claim the throne. And their first target is original content music. Can originality triumph? Or is outdated law simply too powerful? Now they do seem to be struggling a bit here. OC music is taking some early damage. A smash, two smashes there though are gonna narrow that gap. Three smashes. And they're now in the lead. If they can keep up that momentum, they're gonna be in a good spot. They seem to be doing quite well here. OC music is deciding that maybe enough is enough. They have got the early smash. Oh my God. DMCA in a lot of trouble. This might be it for the small man, the music corporations in our industry. Everyone shed a tear. Oh, they seem to be struggling a little bit now. DMCA has got the hard arm of the law at its side. In the case of a fox that just sets things randomly on fire. Sounds about right. But they haven't been able to get the smash off just yet. Oh, almost, almost. They're going for the bounce. Can they make it back to the stage? They're too far gone. The strike was too much. We lost the channel. 80% to zero. It is an uphill battle for DMCA. They're gonna have to put their back into it if they want to mount a comeback here. There does seem to be a lot of Pokeballs just sitting on the ground. OC Music is able to pick up all three of those in a very powerful display here. And DMCA is not able to mount the comeback. I feel like that was a bit of a blunder. They let they let OC music get away with a bit too much. And DMCA has been defeated once again. Do you want to produce money produce animation on YouTube or to have money? You cannot do both. Combined might that is the animation industry com and community on YouTube or the money guy. Those channels on YouTube where the sole premise is the guy has a lot of money and does things with a lot of money. Something the animation crowd will sadly never live to see. Animation just trying to chuck out some bombs, but money guy is going to go for the slam at the start. 
So they're gonna go for it twice. Animation really needs to try and learn from that. For some reason, animation seems to be struggling somewhat. They they seem very bomb heavy. I'm not sure what's going on there. It seems to be like kind of a security issue. Like they just need to have a bomb in their hand or they're in trouble. Money Guy just bought a hammer and is gonna destroy them. If animation doesn't go in for the kill here, then like Money Guy will just take it in terms of time. Oh, disastrous Money Guy seems to have purchased lightning here though. Very expensive, but they were able to do it! And with a head smash to the side, animation did not stand a chance. Oh, God love animation. Gamers versus hygiene. Gamers versus hygiene. A battle we all face in our day-to-day -day lives. You cannot be a gamer and be clean. The only thing you need to wash yourself in is achievement points. Gamers off to a very strong start in hygiene. He's probably like disgusted by what they've just found. Trying to apply some water type attacks here to start cleansing the earth from where they stand. Pretty even playing field so far. The gamers have attached a bomb to hygiene. Oh, I, they're not able to get it off in time. Ironically, not able to wash their face free of it. Gamers have a strong early lead on hygiene now. They're really gonna have to up their game. It might just be too much for hygiene to wash clean here. Oh, falling off the stage though. May have spoken too soon. Hygiene looking to be in a bit of trouble here. Their damage is getting quite high now. Oh! Hygiene preparing a very strong up smash here. Does not set it off in time. Gamers going for the drop kick and completely annihilates Hygiene. Gamers prevail once again. Hygiene has been defeated. The long con of content on YouTube. Video essay man who will give you a two hour criti critique and review as to why Mario Odyssey isn't as good as you think it is or literally just 10 hours of rain. Oh, he's going for the immediate kick here. 10 hours of rain. Struggling to get an early foot in here. Not a problem for video essay, man. He's just pounding away with his critique here. Oh, he is not take lying down. 10 hours of rain, struggling to even get on the stage right now. Video essay guy. Obliterating the rain here. Video essay, man. Hasn't even got started with the critique. They're defining what a video game still is. The half hour it's taken to get to this point may simply be too much for 10 hours of rain. They're completely annihilated. Eventually they'll get to the argument they want to state. Up until then they have to define what an argument is. Pound for the hammer. Oh disaster as video essay guy accidentally kills himself. He went off on a tangent. He was trying to establish too many terms. Uh, they're on the edge of the stage here now. 10 hours of rain. May be able to keep him off the stage. It's already over. 10 hours of rain, mounting an impressive comeback. <laughs> Has completely annihilated video essays. It wouldn't be YouTube unless we had dumb drama and stupid you who consumes it. Here we go. Oh, that's an immediate heavy blow. Stupid you. Seems to be struggling to see this coming. Catching on a little bit now to it. Playing field does seem to be even. It was just some early blows. Starting to reconsider the content that you are viewing. And a comeback is being mounted as dumb drama. Oh, just propelling itself off the edge. It went too far already. It took it too far. It wasn't believable. People clicked off. It's gonna have to try a different strategy to win your attention. Can you be fooled yet? For some reason, it's taunting after it's hits. It seems completely unnecessary considering that dumb drama is losing right now. Stupid, you finally getting a hit off on dumb drama, but it also hurts itself in its own confusion. Dumb drama's now got a baseball bat, still trying to go for the taunts. I don't understand why exactly. The water is in play here. Not gonna be washed off the stage just yet, though. Dumb drama is landing a heavy blow on you, though. Changes the stage. Oh, that's stupid you! 
A very cheeky smash there on the dumb drama. You've taken a stand. Maybe you're not so stupid. Stupid you advances. Quality comedy does exist on YouTube, but in recent years, it has been under significant threat from the rise of the TV talk show host. These cardboard cutouts of human beings are now dominating the comedy sphere on our platform. TV talk shows struggling to find their footing on this new platform. Uh, both literally, like, well, actually just literally speaking. Like, both in terms of YouTube and this match. Oh, but they have got a fire, Barry. Just threw a six zinger. Comedy's in a bit of trouble there. Oh, but for some reason... <laughs> TV talk show host just dug themselves into a hole and just, like, flew off the other end of the screen. I don't really know what happened there. You'll have to see the full clip on, th well, the full video on TV. Presumably to find out. We only get like four minutes here displayed. Comedy though, still getting in a lot of damage here. They've got the Dragoon as well. This could already be over. Oh, disastrous, the slow parachute. <laughs> TV talk show hosts, taking it a little bit too slow. They didn't, they didn't adopt fast enough. Comedy has defeated them. Comedy has persevered. It's probably for the best. Quality content on YouTube is becoming harder and harder to find. You know, a lot of content is produced on YouTube, so you really have to kind of dig for, like, the diamonds in the rough these days. But one thing that certainly doesn't help is there's an entire genre of content that is solely devoted to impersonating the quality content itself. It's quality content versus clickbait. Roy on Roy, let's go. Early blows. Quality content already struggling under the weight of the clickbait. It may be coming in too hot too quick. Quality content is gonna have to mount the fence here. <laughs> They're already in a lot of trouble. Case in point, oh, clickbait has actually spawned a ditto to impersonate itself. God, you can't make this up. Clickbait has made a copy of itself to fight the quality content and it's simply too much. Quality content already being knocked off the stage. This is going terribly wrong at 3 a.m. And you won't believe how shocked I am. They're trying to just take care of the quick clickbait as quietly and discreetly as they can. They don't want to draw too much attention to it. But they need to take a stand. Or they're not going to last long on this platform. Stage is changing. Oh, quality content! <laughs> not able to adjust with the stage as they simply get swamped under the stage change. Going completely off the edge. Clickbait has persevered. The algorithm has struck Vine montages. TikToks. Re-uploaded Twitter clips. There's an entire genre on YouTube that has gradually made its way over that exists purely to archive short, like, 5 second to 30 second bits of content. We call them YouTube shorts. But who actually watches those? Vine compilations versus a fighter that has been brought to you in association with Raid Shadow Legends. And you know, before we get into announcing who exactly is going to be performing here, I just want to give a shout out to Loot Crate, uh, a NordVPN. Vine Clips uh, seems to have a bit of a foot in here. They're going for the ball. Try and get some extra tools to help him in this battle here. That's a lot of bombs this early in the game. Oh my god. A vine may be going the way of Vine at this rate if it's not careful. The ad reads are ever growing in the number. Uh, vine clips struggling ever more so to actually get towards ad reads. A stock is already down. Problem seems to be that they're struggling to even make contact with the fighter. So much fluff between the actual content of the video and, and the promotion. Like, it's already over. They didn't even get to touch him. You, you didn't, they didn't even survive. It's done. Now listen here. I might be a boomer when it comes to this platform, but back in the olden days, even I'm familiar with this one. There exists a music genre on YouTube, a platform, if you will, called Nightcore. 
that is specifically devoted to slightly faster anime music remixes. Or like higher pitch. We're talking like the real old days of YouTube. This has been like one of the original things on the platform. Not really sure why, I'll be honest with you. Versus what could possibly be the fan favorite of the entire tournament. It's the shit posts. Night Court versus the Wrath of God. Can only be one. Oh, this is a very strong start. They're going in guns blazing. On the offensive here, shit posts out for blood. Night Court is really gonna need to start speeding up by about 10% if it wants any chance. They've got the Super Mushroom. That could be enough! Oh, that is a dirty early game stock. Shitpost is in trouble from an ancient relic of YouTube. Oh, but not to be outdone! The stocks are flying fast on this stage! Nightcore really trying to go for the stomp. Shitpost really just taking the piss at this point with that side smash. Like, they're, they're literally just gunning for it. They really want to land this. Will Nightcore fall victim to it? Unfortunately so. They had a good run. They survived in this platform an extraordinarily long amount of time. Of course, two final titans of YouTube. Unboxing videos. Cute pets. Cute pets. Simply too cute to handle, it would seem. Unboxing having a lot of difficulty closing the gap here. The Going for actually one charge punch there is enough to almost catch it up completely. Just got a new iPhone, they want to share it with you. You pets struggling to stay on the stage here. Oh, but unboxing for some reason's gone a little too far. You think the home field advantage here would take play, you know, everything being literally made of cardboard, but doesn't seem to be the case. Q-Pets has a, a, quite the lead right now. A fake Smash Ball in play. I just want to be careful here. If you set this off, that's gonna be the end! Oh, somehow that dodged unboxing. They unboxed a fake Smash and somehow did not get caught up in the recoil. But the Q-Pets have now got their own Smash! This simply may be too much cuteness to handle! Q-Pets take the game. This is why you don't bet on Little Mac. <laughs> High energy content. Talking very fast, talking very quickly versus the K-pop fans. Arguably, they possess a higher energy of their own. Let's go. Oh, high energy just going in. K-pop stands need the mount of defense here. High energy may simply be too quick. They are just rolling about the place. They are on the offense. Charging in, kicking the K-pop fans right into the air and just immediately pursuing it with a chase. Oh, they are not easing up. For every punch they deal, they just want to follow it up with more punching. Something in the aid of a Pokemon as well. They've got a very convenient item here. Almost able to completely smash the K-pop fans off the stage already. They're moving so fast. They've already taken the first stock. Blink and you'll miss it. They're moving too quick. They can't slow down now. Oh, the K-pop fans. Combination of ice and fire against them. You cannot get a moment's peace from the high energy here. It's simply too much. Not letting them back on the stage. They're almost at the same percent already, but there's a stock in the difference. Oh my god. They're really struck up. Desperately trying to get back on the stage. The K-pop fans, I think, are just scared at this point. They're struggling to approach the high energy. But they have acquired a bomb. And it might be enough to knock them off the stage. Not quite. They desperately need to get a smash off now. They're within sm final smash range themselves. It's too much. High energy. It's just simply too quick. Reaction channels as a whole versus one political furry. There's no force stronger than a single political furry. I mean, he's beaten mainstream media already. Can he beat reaction channels himself? Can he anticipate the arguments that will be presented against him? Can reactions react in time? Reaction channels taking some time to get some distance. 
Should be know that all pieces of the Dragoon are in play currently. Oh! A cut, double stock takedown there! Political Furry able to get the up smash and reactions, but unfortunately, the Crab has come in to defeat Political Furry. Oh, and Reaction Channel has assembled the pieces of the Dragoon! This could be a very early game. Political Furry has been defeated. I swear to god, that, that Dragoon is coming in like every second match. Okay, the new age of YouTube now must face its greatest challenger yet. The rise of VTubers versus not safe for work Elsa. Two equally mighty contestants. And Sis Trophy spawned, it's, it's the tentacle bird. Don't know whose side they're on. There's also a jellyfish, I don't know whose side they're on. Your guess is as good as mine. Already a piece of the Dragoon is in play. I, I feel like we may need to turn it off. <laughs> it just keeps making a comeback. Oh, that was a... That was a very cheeky smash there. I didn't expect that to go so soon. And it's the Dragoon again. Uh, <laughs> oh, but it didn't kill! It didn't kill! It didn't kill! The Dragoon didn't kill! The VTubers are still in it. They're not quite gone. It wasn't quite powerful enough just as once. Not safe work for Elsa has not taken an early win. The VTubers are not yet to be done. And they mount in the side smash. They've been able to take the stock back. It's one apiece. It's one apiece. A smash orb is in play and the VTubers have been able to acquire it. If they can time this. If they can time this. Not safe work Elsa has gone to the black hole. It's not a smash but it's a lot of damage. The comeback is being mounted here. An ultimate weapon is now starting to assemble as well. They've each got a piece. VTuber's trying to get a magnificent up smash, but it's not enough. Not safe for Krells is going for the up air. Oh, VTuber's just completely ignoring the ultimate weapon piece. They go back for it. They realize their mistake. Three pieces in play. They just need to try and acquire one from the other person here. Very high percents here. Rat smash kill percent on each side here. A go goat is in play. Not safe for Elsa has the has the low ground. VTuber is struggling to get a foot and being knocked off the stage. They need to get back on. Getting back onto the middle, going for an up smash. It's probably a bit too much. There is a golden hammer on the stage. Whoever grabs this could decide the match. Whoever goes for this, whoever realizes it's here. The VTubers have it! Can they land it? The VTubers take it! A magnificent comeback from the VTubers. Not safe for work, Elsa had it in the first half. But it's time to let it go. Your cover of Wonderwall at home, that you just want to share with your friends. Versus someone who can buy your house. And will give your house away, whoever can stand in the circle first. Now OC Music seems to be employing its strategy here of just attacking with the bird again. It worked well against DMCA, but can it work well against money? Uh, money guy has spawned a sizer here, which is unfortunate for OC Music. They're struggling a bit to get back on the stage. Two enemies to contest with. It does not seem to be slowing them too much, though. They're still able to mount the leader. Money guy has now spawned a toga beat. He's gonna come in and freeze him here before he can get the side smash off. Still mounting the lead in terms of percent. A lot of food here and snacks for OC Music Guy. Mom brought a meal while you were recording. The small man here who's passionate for the arts may be able to stand a chance. Against a guy with a lot of capital. Side smash there will do it. Hitting with the bird strategy is really paying off. That's the first stock. A money guy picking up a shield here. Oh, and it seems to be counteracting the bird. He's learning. Stage change here. They have to be careful not to be knocked off, too. They want to make sure they're on. OC Music went too far. They went too far. They got pushed off by the Money Guy. It's unfortunate. That is increasing. Money Guy just seems to be picking up every item that spawns on the stage before OC Music has a chance to even acquire it. There was a present there, but it is assuredly for Money Guy. OC Music's not even going to attempt to touch it. Oh, Money Guy's got a beetle! 
They're able to skillfully dodge two beetles. That was actually a very impressive move there. If either of them hit OC music, they would have been knocked off the stage. Very barely thread in the needle. And they're able to stay on. But the cost of a very high percent. Oh, they're struggling. The bees, they need to get back on. The percent is increasing. Money guy is simply acquiring every item on the stage. <laughs> and OC Music is really struggling to fight back. Simply too much combined capital. It's all over. Money guy using the combined might of just purchasing fucking everything. It's taking the game. I don't even know if this is an enemy for gamers. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I don't know if we've ever taken issue with just 10 hours of rain. Uh, the closest comparison is that 10 Hours of Rain is like an ally of hygiene. This is like Shower 2.0. Can gamers withstand 4 minutes of rain? Or will they be washed away? I mean, so far, they are like mounting an impressive amount of damage. They've already taken the first stock. The gamers are saying no to anything that might vaguely resemble a shower. It would seem. They already have the percent lead. They've already got an assist trophy. The gamers are like unbelievably powerful here. It's looking heavily one-sided. Ten hours of rain is in a lot of trouble here. They need to get a footing on the ground. Gamers are very powerful here. It's already over. It's already over. The gamers are too strong. <laughs> Stupid you versus comedy. <laughs> will you finally achieve something with your life? Or will the joke go over your head? So far, it's looking surprisingly good. Well, it was kind of looking okay for you. Then you just started faffing about in the air for no reason, but you know, what else is new? You put on three shields for some reason. I don't really understand what your plan is there. Uh, comedy seems to be having a bit of trouble though as they're trapped under the plane. <laughs> Not a good position to be in. <laughs> uh, Stuby U is just trying to hold on a bit. Doing the same move again and again, hoping it has a different outcome this time. Seems to be enough, surprisingly. Stuby U put the pitfall on the wrong floor of the plane, so of course it didn't get the easy kill there. And Comedy's going to kill you. That's very unfortunate. You really messed up there. Smash Ball is rolling down the plane! <laughs> oh, but Stuby U, no, you, you. Not bright enough to even attempt to hit it. Comedy's gonna get that too. Just rolls past you twice. It's very unfortunate. And Comedy's gonna make a direct hit to your face and you're dead. You could've played that better. That was very disappointing. I literally killed a man at 3 a.m. And it went wrong. And it was brought to you. By Raid Shadow Legends. Usually these guys I think are allies. Battle for the ages. Is that and I want die me in the cage? I actually can't tell. Clickbait seems to be having a bit of trouble with the cliff there. Oh my god, it is I want die. I'm sorry, I'm a bit distracted. Uh, they're struggling with the cliff. Severely here. They keep falling down it, and I don't understand why. A smash ball is in play, but both fighters seem to just be ignoring it. Oh, clickbait trying to get the smash off there, but Adreed is gonna bounce off the cage. Like, I want die just got caught in the crossfire and died there as well. Well, he did want to die, so it's probably for the best. Both sides seem to be going for the attacks, but they're just not quite able to finish each other off. Clickbait is going to spawn another fighter to the stage. That's gonna do Adreed's in. Oh, and they were able to... Adreed, I think, was able to take the, the max tomato, tomato there before Clickbait was able to get it. Probably needed that. It would have been a very dire straight. Clickbait does have a lot of allies on its side now. The stage has gotten alarmingly small. Adri's able to use that to his advantage and we're moving the train. Stage two. Dragoon seems to be <laughs> very popular today. <laughs> oh, but Adri's has brought in a sponsor. Gonna be able to help it get a blow off on Clickbait. The train is in a very awkward position here. Adreeds needs to be careful! Too close to the edge. Clickbait has triumphed. The two most beloved types of content on YouTube. 
I feel sad for whoever loses this battle. This is like choosing between my kids. Shitpost and Cube Pets here seem to be very fond of the fully charged smash attacks. They are going for the kill. They're going for the kill. There is a smash ball here. There's a bomb here too. All contenders need to be careful. Shitpost able to get the up smash on Cube Pets there. Take the first stock. But Q Pets coming back with the second stock is able to get the smash ball. If they land this, they can very easily catch up on the stock. Metroid has been spawned. That's an unfortunate one to get as that can deal a lot of damage. Thankfully though, they're gonna be able to get off the smash attack. Uh, Q Pet seems to be in a bit of trouble. The Metroid is unfortunately lingering around and just making life difficult. Not an actual pet, pet, just a stray animal in the house right now. <laughs> what actually happened there? Does anyone know what happened? I, I don't even think shitpos hit them. What was that? Well, shitpos has unfortunately annihilated cute pets. They're gone. Can't do them both at the same time. I don't know how that would work. Imagine a high energy reaction channel. That would probably be a bit intense. Just constant non-stop talking over what you're supposed to be watching. High energy has shown that they really like going for a lot of kicks and also playing on the offensive. Uh, very much just chasing the enemy. Which may be a bit of a struggle for reactions here, although... For some reason, they appear to be struggling with this kick now. I don't know what's, uh... What's going on here? <laughs> There appears to be a bit of confusion on this building. Reactions is in a lot of trouble here. Struggling to get a foot in. Fallen victim to the side smash. High energy is just on the offensive. He's not even swayed by the assist trophy. He's just going for the kill. He knows he's got the lead right now. Just constantly peppering. With commentary here. And another up smash kick. He's been practicing it all day. That's enough to do it. VTubers versus a guy with a lot of money. Modern YouTube boiled down to its finest, most recent types of content to emerge on the scene. VTubers will unite the class war. <laughs> Here we go. Money guy employing its strategy once again of just grabbing any item it can see. A fake Smash Ball in play though. Will this be its, its undoing this time? Oh, unfortunately for the VTubers, they were confused. They couldn't tell the difference. Oh, disaster as the VTubers have lost an early stock. But they have got two pieces of the Dragoon. Maybe they can catch up in time. One more piece and they can get a, a very cheeky catch up here. They just need to find it. There's the last piece. They're going for it. They got it. Playing field even. Money guy trying to purchase a barrier to catch him there. Too little, too late. Collided off. A real smash ball now in play. The VTubers really just going for the up smash. But they've got it. They're trying to make a connect. Black hole, not quite there. That they will catch Money Guy in the tail end. It's enough. Money Guy stubbed his toe. He forgot to keep a receipt. And that's gonna do them in. They've conquered hygiene. They've conquered nature's means of hygiene. But can they now conquer anything remotely funny? It's time for the ongoing battle that is gamers versus the world. This could be a battle of position in here. Gamers going to employ a Pokemon. They're trying desperately to mount this build in here. They're, they're struggling to get on top of it. But they're still getting the damage in. Oh, and they've leveled up. The gamers are too strong. <laughs> the gamers are too powerful. Comedy is struggling. Comedy really needs to do something here. Needs some kind of advantage. Unfortunately, the gamers have literally summoned God. The gamers have literally evoked God himself in the battle. This is a bad move for comedy. Although they have been able to find a heal help restore item on the field. 
stage is just randomly like exploding. The gamers have knocked themselves off the edge for some reason. They were going in for the kill. They were too confident. They were desperately trying to take out comedy. They went too far. Someone in the power of a star now and a banana. Comedy is in a bit of a rough spot here. It's a very unfortunate stage hazard. It just takes up so much space. That was an unbelievable play. So comedy did the up special, right? To try and get the jetpack attack on the gamers. Gamers sidestepped it ever so slightly and was able to line up a perfect side smash on the exact spot that comedy landed. Comedy has been defeated. <laughs> I'm not allowed to be funny anymore um, on today's stream, but fortunately, that was never a problem for me. The pinnacle of YouTube content kind of beat the imitation of it. Chip post in a very tricky spot here. They're being knocked off the edge of the stage. Being bumped back on just barely. <laughs> Hanging in there. Oh, but a dangerously high percent for failing to get back on in time. They gotta be careful, barely dodging that side smash, able to land one of their own. Pushing the clickbait back. They're trying to go for it again here, but clickbait is gonna just stand away. There's a blue shell hovering above their head. Shitpost has to be real careful here, it's gonna collide! It's too much. There is a full heart container on the stage. If clickbait gets that, that's gonna spell disaster for shitpost. They don't seem to realize it's there. The stage is changing. The heart is gone. That was a very dangerous position to be in for shitposts. Oh, no. No, the unthinkable has happened. They healed it. They healed it. Oh, shitpost has to do it all again. And it's all over. Shitposts have been annihilated. Look, May advances to the semifinals. semifinals. We have the four pillars of YouTube that is left. High energy. VTubers. Gamers and clickbait. Let's go. We got the, the new Tekken stage here. They got to break down the walls, I believe, to knock people off. As the VTubers are going to demonstrate that with a fucking bomb. Oh my god. The VTubers seem to be rivaling high energy's own high energy. They're not going down fighting. Oh! It's already. They've already taken a percent. Double whammy of the laser there, just smashing into the wall with a smash attack! So much power behind the VTubers here. High energy struggling a bit with their kicks here. The VTubers just want to get in as much extra damage as they can and try not to get caught up in the kicks. The high energy determined to just destroy the build instead of the enemy in front of them. Oh, it was just going that way at the time. They don't have time to think right now, they gotta keep going quick. VTubers have the ultimate weapon assembled. If they can land this, slightly too high for high energy. They're going to dodge the projectile. And they're going to be able to take the stock back. Un very unfortunate for VTubers there. Playing dangerously on the edge here. Oh, the wall seems to be closing in. That's actually quite dangerous. They can get locked out, I think. Stage reassembling around them to keep them fighting in this prison. No, oh, Captain Falcon can get back in there. Okay, all right. I think it's one way. Oh, there was a smash there that would have killed VTubers, but the wall bounces VTubers back in. VTubers going on the offense here. There's a fake smash orb and a real one. But disaster is high energy. It's too much energy. And it expels it on the fake smash ball. VTubers have advanced to the final. It's all up to gamers to stop the villain of the tournament now. This is gonna be an intense one, I think. Two champions. Box and ring. They're locked into the death. Gamers landing the first blow. Clickbait just hiding in the rafters. Gamers trying to go up and fire, get back against them. They're both fighting on the skylight now. There's, there's no low that Clickbait won't stoop to. Clickbait trying to just keep them out of the ring, although they're getting into a bit of a juggle now. The gamers do seem to be struggling, though. They don't really know what to do with this bouncy bit. They're confused. Clickbait has summoned a fox. 
But th that was a very cheeky smash. I'm amazed that killed. A down smash there from the gamers is enough to actually take out clickbait for the first stock. That's a smash ball in play. Gamers just want to try and keep clickbait away from it as long as they can. And they seem to be doing an alright job of it. Oh, but they got the final smash though. This is going to wreak some unfortunate damage on the gamers. Too much. They couldn't see where they are. They got outgamed. Stock apiece. Although clickbait is on a much higher percent here. Gamers does have an advantage right now. But we've seen, we've seen how fast this turns back around. Pinned at the ringside there. A hefty punch. That was 20% there. On gamers. Stage changer from the boxing ring. I think... Somehow... With the stage change there, gamers had a projectile. They were able to pinpoint... Like, like throw it in the clickbait's face. And take him out. We didn't even see that kill happen. Is there anything gamers can't do? The final two contestants. We have VTubers versus gamers. Here we go. Round one of the final. Best of three. Here we go. VTubers not backing down whatsoever. Going straight into it. Hefty blows off the back. Gamers trying to dodge and deal their own back. Easily trading back. Fantastic combo land in there and an assist trophy. This is going to be hard for the VTubers now. They've got a lot of firepower on the stage. They're trying to just play safe on the ledge up above them. They've got a beetle item and they're doing a drop kick. Gamers are out for blood. The VTubers struggling to stay on the stage. Barely teleporting back in time. Very powerful up smash on the gamers there though. They're starting to mount it. Gamers have two pieces of the ultimate weapon acquired. But the VTubers have been able to claw them back into a high percent. They just need to be careful not to get blown off the stage too soon. They've got one piece of the ultimate weapon. They're knocked off. At least the park goes with them. It'll take a while for it to come back. Hopefully enough time for them to mount a comeback on gamers here. Smash ball in play. Oh, very powerful side smash there. Gamers did not step away in time. The smash ball is just sitting there. No one seems to want to go for it. Gamers trying to acquire the ultimate weapon again. They have no time for just the smash ball. They need to completely annihilate the VTubers here. Wipe them off this earth. VTubers trying to power up another very powerful side smash here. They're picking up just one piece of the ultimate weapon for safekeeping. Oh! But it's too little too late as gamers just close the gap. And knock them off the stage with the first round. Round two. If VTubers lose this, they're out of the tournament. And gamers will take the throne. That's not a good start for them. Gamers are just so on the offensive. Taking none of it. They're starting to mount a little bit of a defense. If the gamers would only walk into the easily dodgeable side smash attack. The VTubers gotta stop doing that. Pokemon has been summoned to the stage. It's unfortunately a cure -em. Just need to outlast it, kind of wait for, for it to go away. Turret has been popped in the stage too. That's very unfortunate for the VTubers. That's very unfortunate with the fire bar in the face as well. They might just be able to make it back with the teleport, but the turret gets them! It's the final stock! Oh, the get VTubers with a combo! <laughs> Holy shit, the side smash and the fire bar off the side. They narrow the gap instantly. Stock each. They're not out yet. Another play like that and they might be able to take it. They're being very cheeky and hoping that gamers just kind of walks into the fully charged smash attack. They gotta try something a bit more powerful than that. Perhaps the rocket ship might be what they need. Launching that. A slow time clock is on the stage. Gamers exploding the rocket. Disaster! They've got the slow time clock. Oh, the VTubers are in danger here. They need to keep clear. Oh, but they're able to knock the gamers off the stage.
They pulled it back even in slow motion! The charge attack paid off! The VTubers take the second round! They're not out yet! It all comes down to this. Every other type of content on YouTube will be eliminated after this tournament. Including me, if gamers don't win. The finale. Everything to play for it. They have triumphed over so many battles. Gamers have the assist on their side and they got a very strong lead. Don't count the VTubers out just yet. They have come back from worse than this. Although it is looking pretty bad. They need to get down the stage. Gamers are just sitting there waiting for them. If the VTubers can get on the stage, they might be able to do something. There's a tornado coming towards them. Gamers are launching fully charged tornado attacks. The VTubers have to do something dangerously high percent. They're not going to be able to keep this up for long. Somehow still in the game. Oh, and they're mounting it on against the gamers. Almost able to knock them off the stage here. Somehow they've stayed alive with that percent. It was only a matter of time before that was taken. It's only a matter of time. They couldn't hold. That was not viable. They need to get this stock off the gamers quick now. The gamers are closing the gap. Rocket is being prepared. The VTubers do not want to touch the gamers. They already know they defeated Hygiene. Can spot a botter here. They really need to get him off the stage quick if they want any chance. Gamers have now narrowed the gap in terms of percent, but there's a stock in the difference. Smash ball in play. If VTubers can take it back, they have their work cut out for them. Not today. It's not happening today. Because the gamers... <laughs> ...have conquered all! <laughs> they have risen up! And they... <laughs> ...are the winners! ...of the WWE YouTube Crisis sh Smackdown. I get to keep my job! <laughs> I don't get snapped! I survived! <laughs>